Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about could NCAA athletes be allowed to transfer with coaches changes. I think that athletes deciding to leave the program that the coach recruited them from to leave to go to another program, whether it's the program that the coach transferred to or let's say if you retired, you wanted to go to another school, like a, another school that you got recruited by. I think that you could do that, but of course, I don't think that everybody should. You should only do it in certain situations, like let's say, for example, how Roy Williams retired from UNC. Now, if Roy Williams retired from UNC, and then obviously Hubert Davis is now the head men's basketball coach, if you see yourself not being able to play at UNC under Hubert Davis because of the talent that's coming in or the talent that's already on the court, then yes, I think you could re get recruited somewhere else and transfer somewhere else. But if you see yourself playing, might as well just stay there and play under a new coach that knows the program. Another example is, of course, let's say if the Georgia Bulldogs football coach Mark Rick, who left Georgia to go to Miami, and the players that Mark Rick recruited while he was at Georgia, now, if they're not already there at the program, but he's recruited them, then I think that as a player, you should be able to make that decision. But most players don't fall in love with the program because of a coach, let's say, for example. Most players don't fall in love with a coach like Roy Williams and Mark Rick to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to USC and... Georgia because of Mark Rick and Roy Williams because that's not realistic. They fall in love with the program and the campus around and then obviously it's a bonus to be coached under Roy Williams, Mark Rick, and even let's say Nick Saban decides to leave Alabama. It's an honor and a privilege to be coached under those legendary people. So I don't think if like you decide to do that, that is not the best decision. Another great example is where UNC's football program, before Mac Brown came back, they were mediocre. And if you decide to leave to go to UNC now that Mac Brown's there, then that just tells, tells everybody that you're chasing after the name behind the man of Mac Brown. Versus if you were already there and Mac Brown decided to come there, you're not chasing after the legendary Mac Brown's name. Thank you for listening to Brandon Sports Talk on Could NCAA Athletes Be Allowed to Transfer with Coaches Change. See you in the next episode. Bye!